Hey friends, it's April. Happy Thursday. Happy Friday Eve. How are you? I hope everybody is well. Hope you've had a good week. Hi, Josie. You want to come say hi real quick? No? Okay. Anyway, hi. How are you? Um, I'm going to go ahead and send our tweet super quick. And then while Facebook is gathering the audience over there on its end, I'm going to do the same here and do some shares. So as soon as you pop on, go ahead and say hi. Uh, tell me where you're watching from and all that fun stuff. Yeah, we're going to do two recipes tonight. Ooh, let me pull up my comments so I can see what y'all are saying, too. We're going to do two recipes tonight. We're going to do my grandmother's um, sweet potato casserole, and we're going to do, uh, it bakes for about 60 minutes, so while it's baking, we're going to do a sweet corn soup. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do tonight. I hope everybody's excited. Kelly should be on any second uh, to give us a hand, but while we're waiting for that, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm gonna get things shared over here. So say hi, tell me where you're, where you're watching from, and tell me how your week's been. Hopefully good. Just give me two seconds. I know this is the boring part, this is the part that's no fun, but Angie, is it Angela? Angela is really cute. Thanks Angela, I appreciate it. Thought I'd dress it up a little tonight. <laughs> I actually had planned on wearing a skirt tonight, but my LuLaRoe came in. Well, I was going to wear a skirt from the LuLaRoe, but um, the first box I opened had leggings in it, and I couldn't get past that box. <laughs> I saw polka dots, and that was the end of that, so polka dots it was, and I'll show you in a minute, but let's go ahead and get this going first. You guys excited? So, like I said, this whole month we're doing... Um, Naomi didn't know we were live today. Yeah, we're live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. So, um, yeah, this is our regular time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Give me just a second. I'm getting faster at this, but I'm still not instant. Hey, Stacy, One of my besties is on. Everybody say hi, Stacy. Hi, Stacy. All right, give me a second. This part's boring, I know. Ah, Judy said they look beautiful. You guys are sweet tonight. All right, I know, this is the boring part. I've got my window open, so hopefully there's not too much ambient noise. It's a little warm in here because the oven's on, so. Good evening, Melanie, how are you? <clears throat> Just a couple more minutes, I promise. Not too much longer, and then we'll get cooking. Hi, Constance. Stacey lost her voice, too. What is it? I keep getting a frog in my throat all day long. Super annoying. So, Stacy, tonight we're making... So, Stacy and Pete are our very good friends, and they come over for Thanksgiving every year. And last year, when I made this sweet potato casserole, Pete pulled me aside and said, Oh, my God, did you put crack in that? Because it was my bed. It was amazing. So, that's what we're making tonight, Stacy. <laughs> you could tell Pete we're making his sweet potato casserole for Thanksgiving. Uh, almost done, sorry. Hi from Kentucky. It says Marilyn something shared my page, or shared my page. Thank you guys. I do appreciate it when you share. When you share, it lets Facebook know how much you love me. Which means they, uh, they show it to more people, which is always good, you know? Always good. Almost done. I know. This is the boring part. I can't help it. It just is what it is. Are you guys having a drink tonight? Who's having a drink? Anybody? Anybody? I am. I'm going to pour a glass of wine in just a second. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Cindy. I'm going to pull the comments up on my phone in a minute so you, I can see better of it. All right. Okay. 
Okay, hi, how are you guys? Let's let's see what everybody's saying. What are y'all drinking? Did you guys decide what you're drinking tonight? I made a startling discovery today. I did. Um, this is the last in my wine stash. So apparently I need to go shopping. And or if any of you guys work for a wine company and want to sponsor the show, feel free to give me a ring. All right. Kelly's on. Woohoo! Liquid ice and vodka. <laughs> nice and fun. Good. My mom said your husband is mighty handsome. He is mighty handsome. Thanks. Can I say hi to Emma and Melanie? Hi, Emma and Melanie. Just got home from dinner and had a drink. Sean Minor Cabernet. Hey from Union City, Texas. Hi, Danielle. All right. Dan Dana says this is her Friday. Cheers to your Friday. Naomi's pregnant, but that's a good thing. Sweet tea for Sherry. All right. Hi from New York, Alexandra. Thank you. You look fabulous today too. You guys all look beautiful. So we're gonna do um, we're gonna do a sweet potato casserole. Sorry, I'm just grabbing my corkscrew. We're gonna do a sweet potato casserole. It is a, it is a take on my grandmother's recipe. So when I got married a billion years ago, um, my sister put together a cookbook of family recipes for me, and she asked the family for recipes and um I remember calling my grandmother up we were close and saying can you make sure you put your sweet potato casserole sweet potato casserole recipe in the cookbook for me and she did so and I'm really glad I did because nobody else thought to ask her for it so I have it now and um the recipe we're making is not exactly the same oh never mind we're back hi hi Um, sorry about that. <laughs> say that on screen. I'm not, I just said the F word to my girlfriend and she told me to say that on screen. No, thank you. Even though the SEC doesn't monitor this, I don't need any nasty emails from people watching with their kids. <laughs> as much as I love a good F bomb and let me tell you, I do. Okay. So, hi, sorry about that. Sometimes that happens. Facebook has been messing with background stuff all week long and it is seriously screwing with my ability to have a con uh, have a coherent live but we're working on it we're working on it so hi what i was saying was we're down to our last oh no no what i was saying was um i was the only one that asked my grandmother for the recipe so we have it it's good she passed a couple years ago which was horrible blurry video it'll come back it'll come back it's coming back i can see it just it just fixed itself so give it a second Anyway, cheers. So this one's to my grandmother. And honestly, if we were doing a proper salutation to my grandmother, it would be with Kahlua. But I feel like wine tonight. And she would forgive me for that. So we're good. What are we drinking? We're drinking Smoking Loon Merlot. And I was just saying, this is the last in my wine stash. So we need to go ahead and get some more of that. So I'm going to wash my hands. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Because this does take a long time to cook. It takes almost a full hour. You can do it anywhere from like 50 to 60 minutes. Alright. Very fuzzy. Is it still fuzzy? Oh, it went fuzzy again. Ah. I'm sorry guys. I don't know what's going on with Facebook tonight. Because it's definitely Facebook. My internet connection is fine. That's how I feel about that. Well, I was going to show you my leggings, but I'll wait until, um, I'll wait until I stop getting the error message on my screen. I'm going to grab a bowl. I'm going to do a clear bowl so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I'll get the ingredients. I've got all the ingredients set out this time. So, we can do this. All right, so let's read the recipe. Let's read the recipe. I know, I don't, re I don't memorize all the recipes. Okay, so the base is 80 ounces of canned yams, which is two large cans, which we've got right here. Whoop. These are what we want. These are Bruce's yams. Okay, so two cans of those. You want one stick of butter, softened. This isn't super soft, but we'll beat it and it'll get soft. Um, three eggs, one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract, and a cup of sugar. So that's going to be the base. That's the creamy sweet potato part. And the crumble on top is made of a cup of flour, two sticks of butter, two cups of brown sugar, and slivered almonds. So, um, okay, you want to see, are the little row leggings good? They're amazing. What do you mean, are they good? Of course they're good. So, 
that's what we're in tonight. I figured, you know, curls on my legs, curls on my neck. So fancy, so fancy. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do this. Should we do this? I think we should do this. So we're gonna do, it says, combine base ingredients in a large bowl and blend well with an electric mixer. We can totally do that. And we're gonna drain the yams. You wanna drain the yams? Where's my, there's my can of butter. So how's everyone doing tonight? Are we good? Super glitchy. I know, I don't know what's going on with Facebook, guys. Super duper lame. Thanks, Monica. Monica likes my leggings. Yeah, guys, if you like the leggings, make sure to join our leggings group. I got our shipment of leggings, and we got leggings, we got dresses, we got shirts, we got cardigans, uh, we got maxi skirts, we got all of it. So uh, let me know. Yeah. Not let me know. Sorry. If you want to join, let uh, Kelly will go ahead and put a link up to the group. We're gonna try and start selling on Saturday. But if I can get my wits about me, Kelly says I haven't. I've, I've yet to find a sweet potato casserole that I really like that isn't overly sweet and disgusting. It, this one's good. It's sweet. There's no doubt. It's sweet. It's you know, but it's not like marshmallow sweet. Our yams basically the same as sweet potatoes, very similar, very, very similar. So that's one can. Wine makes the glitches better, amen. Jeanette K. Wallace and 24 others shared my video, let them know, I appreciate it. I do appreciate it, you guys, I really do. It means a lot to me when you do that. Stephanie missed the leggings, there you go, girl. Polka dots, polka dots and pearls. All right. What's the website? Which website? The leggings? Kelly's putting up the link right now. I think she just threw it in the comments. And if you're, if you're asking what my website is, I'm April from Mama Loves Food, mamalovesfood.com, M-A-M-A-L-O-V-E-S-F-O-O-D.com. I have been um, developing recipes over there for over eight years now. Oh, I can see we're glitching again. And um, yeah, there's tons of just family-friendly kid-friendly, delicious, healthy and not healthy recipes over there. Jane loves the videos. Thanks, Jane. Hi, Lori from Hawaii. Thanks, Dana. All right. All right, so we've got our two cans of yams, one stick of butter. What did I say? One stick of butter, three eggs. We can do that. Get out some pearls, right? I thought it was a cute combination. One, we say three, right? One, two. Kelsey says we use the same recipe. Awesome. Two, three. I need them. I do have more of the polka dots if you like them. I made sure not to choose, although it killed me because there were some that I really, really, I, I love these. I love polka dots, don't get me wrong. But there were some that I really wanted to grab, but I made sure to grab ones that there were duplicates of so that I didn't take anybody's unicorn. And, okay, so that's butter, eggs, yam, and what did we say? Vanilla and sugar. So where's our vanilla at? Here's our vanilla. Hi, Mandy from New Zealand. Amber loves the videos. Amber, I love you. Hi, hi Nicole. Hi, Debbie. All right. This is new. <laughs> We're going to have to stab it. There we go. My five-year-old son, first time watching. He always goes to bed before. Hi, Jacob. Thanks for watching. I'm glad you're excited to be here. I'm excited you're here. Okay, one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And then one tablespoon, I mean, sorry, one cup of sugar, which you'll notice that's actually, that, the almonds and the sugar are the two things that I really um, adjusted in my grandmother's recipe. I believe her original recipe calls for twice as much sugar, and it's just too much for me. Christina finally made it. You're here, yay. No, you didn't miss too much. We're making sweet potato casserole right now, um, inspired by my... 
Tanya says, I love your show, but please tell me you didn't put the shells back in the egg carton. The shells are in my compost, not in the egg carton. Um, my dad does that, though, and it makes me nuts. All right, one cup. We said one cup, right? One cup of sugar. Is this a dessert? Um... Not technically, no. It's generally, traditionally it's served with dinner, but yeah, it's basically a dessert. <laughs> uh -oh. Got a little hard piece there. Hi, Cheryl from Florida. I'm in Florida too. We are in um, Central Florida, just north of Orlando. There you go. One cup of sugar. My cousin wants to know when I'm making him dinner. Can I please say happy birthday to Peyton? Happy birthday, Peyton. I'm glad to see you're watching. Okay. Yeah, we serve it as a side dish too, Roxanne. But it definitely could be served as dessert. But I, traditionally in America, it's served as a side dish. All right. A hundred people have reacted to this video. Guys, I love seeing the hearts and the thumbs and even the frowny faces go across the screen. I think it's really fun, so... Feel free to do that if you like, if you are so inspired. Do you guys have any good weekend plans? We are, well, Saturday is soccer day because I'm a soccer mom. Put some whiskey in there. <laughs> I would like that. I don't know if my kids would like that. Um, my husband loves sweet potatoes. Yeah, this is a good one. So Saturday we have soccer all day because I'm a totes a soccer mom. And then I'm hoping to do a live show in the afternoon and sell some leggings. And then my kids have a birthday party. Is that? I didn't think that looked right. What's happening here? Hmm. Why isn't this going in, guys? Is it in? Something is not working right on this. What did I do? How was my trip? What trip? Did I take a trip? What trip did I take? I have not taken a trip recently. I'd love to take a trip. There it goes. I didn't have it in all the way. There we go. So we're just going to electric beat this thing until it's all smooth. the instructions to use a greased casserole pan but honestly there's an entire stick of butter in it I only put that because my grandmother always insisted on greasing the pan you really don't need to it's not gonna stick watching from the high school football team playoffs go Rams go Rams all right oh Disney that was we live close to Disney we just did a little day trip it was fun though thank you we uh we met our neighbors over there well the first time we did it twice actually the first time we met our neighbors over there, and then the second time we met some friends that we've been friends with for years and years and years. Alright, I'm, I'm having to beat this a little bit longer than I normally would just because my butter wasn't, wasn't totally softened. Could I use brown sugar? Um, you could. I use brown sugar in the crust and then white sugar in the... Um, I did that wrong. Did I do that wrong? No, that's right. Yeah, I used brown sugar in the crust and white sugar in the filling. But I think, I think you could use it. It would make it more sweet because brown sugar is sweeter than white sugar. Hi from New Brunswick, Kara. I know we're freezing today. I'm so sorry, you guys. I don't know what's up with the feed tonight. I started cooking around 2006 because my um, 
I had my first son and I decided to take a break from working and my husband was a student <laughs> and his job didn't pay much money and before that we were both you know professionals and we used to go out all the time and I worked crazy hours so all of a sudden is this more like a pie or a casserole if it has a crust um it does not have a crust it's got a topping so I'd say more casserole-ish. Are my kids in bed? Mine are in bed, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nine o'clock here. I'm gonna grab our casserole dish. Alright. This is a longer dish than I usually do it in. I'm wondering if I should. But our eight by eight still has we'll do we'll do it in here. Oh, we'll figure it out. Christine likes the braids, thanks. We are having technical difficulties. I am so sorry. That stinks. So we're gonna put it in and we're gonna spread it around. Honestly, it really doesn't matter what size casserole dish you use. Just if it's deeper, you're gonna have to cook it longer is the really the big thing. This is my favorite sweet potato recipe. Make it all the time. Isn't it good? It's so good. I love this recipe. I think it's your beater. What's my beater? That's causing technical difficulties? No. If only it were that simple. What are we drinking today? I'm drinking a Smoking Loon Merlot. super interesting means more room for topping so true Samantha's never had this it's so good it's so good I need a new what what do I need a new of hi from Ohio Tracy how are you all right I think this is actually gonna work out perfectly it's not quite as deep as I usually do but that's okay and this is another one of those oxo pans that I was raving about the other day I can put this, so I'm going to make this, and then I'm going to put it in the freezer until Thanksgiving. And then I can take it out of the freezer and put it directly in the oven in this pan, which is amazing. Amazing. I'm pretty sure there's a link to the pans in my in the description right now. Kelly, if you want to check and see, that would be awesome. Pagna puts orange juice. Wait, sorry, I missed that. Katie puts orange juice in her recipe. Interesting. How far in advance can you make this? Do you freeze it? I'm very intrigued. Yes, yes. Um, so, sorry, I think I, <laughs> no, never mind. I thought I was gonna seize. Um, so you can make this a solid month in advance if you want, if you put it in the freezer. So you make it completely, you bake it, and then you put it in the freezer. And then um, Thanksgiving, the night before, you could put it on the counter and defrost it. Or you could just, like I said, put it in the oven frozen. It'll take longer, but um, you could do that. Or you could just let it defrost and then um, just heat it up in the oven. And that's what we do because Stacy can tell you we have tons of food. If I had to make it all the day of, we'd never, we'd never eat because I'd never get it done. Okay. My freezer is too small. Get another freezer. We have two deep freezers, and they're the best thing ever. Ever. What wine have you been drinking? It's Smoking Loon Merlot. It was BOGO at Publix. I'm actually going to move I'll show you, but then I'm going to move it out of the way so I don't knock it over. So cheers, guys. Thanks for being here. I think we should make a topping for it now. I think we should. How long to heat it? 45 minutes to an hour. So let's go ahead and make the topping. So the topping calls for, all right, screen, one cup of flour, two skips, two skips, two sticks of butter softened, two cups of brown sugar packed, and two cups of slivered almonds. And basically all we do is we put it in and we mix it together. Um, so let me rinse our beaters off. My 
marshmallow topping. We don't do a marshmallow topping in our house. Nope, nope. We do, we just made 1K, yay! Hi everybody! For those of you who are new here, say hi. I'm April from Mama Loves Food. I'm really glad to see you here. We come on every Tuesday and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. We also have a Wednesday 4 p.m. crafting show. We do pecans instead of almonds, just as yummy. Oh, I bet that is. Girl, I had no idea you were a row lady. I am a row lady. So cute. Okay, so we're gonna do flour, brown sugar, almonds, and butter. This island is not nearly as big as it looks. <laughs> All right. What did I say we needed? Butter, butter, butter. I'm gonna put this in the uh, microwave for just a second and soften it a little bit more. Looks very good. I'm thinking of some new side dishes for Thanksgiving. This is a winner. I'm not gonna lie. This is one of our favorites. So good. What's my favorite Thanksgiving dish? I can't. I can't make decisions like that. I cannot do that. Please don't ask me to do that. <laughs> there are no favorites on Thanksgiving. Mandy likes her sweet potatoes with marshmallow topping. All right. So I'm just gonna put this in the microwave for like 15 seconds to make it a little bit softer because I didn't take it out in time. If you put hot water in the glass and put the butter in the bowl, it'll soften. What's the name of the butter? This is Kerrygold and it's delicious. All right. And it doesn't need to be super, super soft because again, we're gonna beat it, so. Um, it's not that big a deal. So we need one cup of flour, two cups of brown sugar, and two cups of almonds. I just tuned in. What are you making? Hi, we're making sweet potato casserole tonight. How are you? And thank you for being here. So I've never tried it, but the only thing that has gluten in this recipe is the flour. So I'm thinking... You could probably, Tulia says it looks more like a dessert. It does. And um, so I think in any other country it would be considered a dessert, but traditionally in America, in the United States, it is considered a side dish. I don't know why. It tastes like dessert. It is delicious. It's definitely dessert-like, but we serve it as a side dish at Thanksgiving here. All right. Is the topping gonna taste like cookie dough? No, it's gonna taste like a streusel topping, kind of. One, two, walnuts sound good too. They do sound good. Two, so these are half cups because my, my full cup is dirty, so we need four of these. Could I post the recipe? Yes, the recipe is posted in the um, description. So if you share this, guys, if you share this to your wall, you'll be able to see the description and you'll be able to watch it again later if you want. What could you use if you can't have nuts? You can just skip the nuts. Um, maybe put a little bit more flour in. Okay, so four of that. Tina likes my necklace. Thank you, Tina. There's our room. Okay, so we've got our flour, our brown sugar. We need two cups of slivered almonds. I'm actually using sliced, not slivered, but I think you'll forgive me. To be a dessert, it has a crust. To be a side, it has nuts. Yeah. Uh, not nuts, I thought I just read that. Okay, so we need one, two, come on, come on, three, and four. Janice says there's a lot of people watching. Robin says it keeps going in and out of focus. Yeah, Facebook's giving us issues tonight. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why. I think with vanilla ice cream, it's a winner for dessert. That was weird. All right, and then we need our butter. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Can we talk about how much I love this dish? It's really not healthy in the slightest, but it's so good. <laughs> So, so good. Cheers, guys. Thanks for being here. <gasps> My cousin Chase is here. Hi, Chase. How are you? Cheers, Chase. Chase got engaged recently. Everyone, can you guys say happy engagement? Congratulations to Chase. Uh-oh. We're buttering our cord. 
Angel Marie and 41 others just shared my video. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it when you share the video. Not only does it put it on your wall so other people can see the awesomeness that you're watching. Um, there we go. Uh, but it also gives Facebook a vote of confidence and it makes it easy for you to find the recipe later. And the recipe is always linked in the description, but sometimes when you're live it's hard to see. So we're just gonna take our, um, our beater and go ahead and give this a mix. I want to send you pretty pots for your plants. I know, I just always keep them in the, keep them in the, they never last very long. I'm like a plant killer. All right. Hi, hi Nixie, thanks, I'm glad you like it. She likes my necklace. So we visited Chase over the summer when we went out to Colorado and met his beautiful fiance. I'm so excited. We're going back out next summer for the wedding. Yay. Elizabeth loves Kerrygold. Woohoo! It's not too late to back out. What are we backing out of? What's the matter? Oh, haha. -ha. No. Kelly. Kelly, Kelly. All right. So you don't want it to get like a dough necessarily you want it to ooh. you want it to still be crumbly um you guess you didn't see something about mashed potatoes okay so the the sweet potatoes are over here we're doing the topping now so when we were in Colorado over the summer my co Chase, my cousin, got a kick out of the fact that I was wearing leggings, so I didn't have pockets. So I would stick everything in my bra. He thought that was hilarious. Kept reminding me that it's not a pocket. But it is a pocket. Two pockets. P.S. Chase, it's a pocket. Hey, Wes. My phone's dying. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to move this glass of wine out of the way so it's not blocking your view. Yeah. Do you mind getting me a cord so I can charge my phone? Thanks. We're gonna take our um, sweet potato or yam filling and we're just gonna see how it's crumbly. Can you guys see? And we're just gonna crumble it over top and that's it. That's all she wrote, folks. That is all she wrote. Here comes Wesley to the rescue. Thank you. And you want to try to get it as even as possible. Uh-oh. I just fed the dog some sweet potato or some brown sugar. Thanks. All right. Let's see. There we go. What do I put on them? On what? This is, there's, so in, uh, the filling is sweet potato, eggs, sugar, butter, and vanilla. The topping, and I do a thicker topping than I think most people do because I think the topping is amazing. <laughs> but if you're not a huge topping person, you could probably actually cut the topping in half because you can see that it's a heavy, heavy duty topping. Dan Danielle says this looks amazing because it is, because it is. So good. All right. How's the weather? It's in the 70s. Got the window open. During the day, it's still in the 80s. It's still hot as all get out in the, in the daytime, but in the evenings, it's getting really nice now. Finally, well, it's like a bad joke. You know, the time of year when you when it's light, really late, and you want to be outside, it's too hot. And then the time of year where it's gorgeous out, it's too dark, so. Yay, Florida. Okay, so that's it. And now I'm going to stick it in the middle rack of the oven at, let's see, I think 350, but let's double check. Did I seriously? Apparently I didn't write in my recipe. That's good. That's good, April. Then I go ahead and grab my written version. That's so weird because I could have sworn somebody complained about that the other day and I fixed it. I can't 
believe I didn't fix that. All right, well, anyway, I'm pretty sure it's 350, but we're gonna double check right now. See, this is my cookbook that had this for 13 years. And let's find it. Drina sweet potatoes. 350. Yep. Okay. 350 for 45 minutes to an hour. So let's go ahead and put that in. We're going to need a center rack with the oven for that. The topping is everything. It's so good. I'm going to bring it over and show you before I put it in the oven so you guys can see. How delicious does that look, you guys? Is that amazing? So good. All right. I'll stick this in the oven. And then while that's baking, we'll go ahead and make some sweet corn soup. All right. So I know sweet corn soup is more of a summer recipe, but it's still warm here. So I feel like... I feel like that's okay, right? See, now my phone went into low battery mode and it's gonna turn off all the time. What's my favorite Thanksgiving dish? You know, people keep asking me that, but I really don't have a favorite. I just adore Thanksgiving. I love all the food. I love mixing it together on my plate and just taking a big bite. Are you guys, here's a good question. Are you guys food mixers or are you from, where are you from? Are you food mixers or are you like separatists? Do you like your, you know, corn here and your mashed potatoes here and your turkey here? Or do you just kind of mash it all together? I'm a masher. I'm a masher, but I know that's not widely accepted, so. Sorry. I'm just gonna clean up a touch before we pull more stuff out. I love that salad cookbook you have. Thanks. It's just a um it's just an old style um what do you call it? Picture, uh, photo album that we, that she put a bunch, she printed, and some of them are handwritten and some of them are printed recipes from the family. Okay. Somebody just asked where my grandmother is from. My grandmother is from Connecticut. My mom grew up in Connecticut. I like my food separated. It looks great. What is she making? I just put, um, I just put sweet potato casserole in the oven. And now we're going to do a sweet corn soup. Really, really simple sweet corn soup. And we're going to cheat and use canned corn. And it's going to be delicious anyway, guys. So don't judge me for that. And we're going to take a sip of water and do some hydrating while we're, doing, while we're at it. Water. Yummy. Love your PJ pants. <gasps> They're leggings. Aren't they the cutest? Polka dots and pearls. Good combo. Food separate. I can't eat it together. Mixer. Oh, we got a lot of mixers. Okay. So, we've got my favorite uh, enameled cast iron. Do I have a delicious recipe for corn pudding? I actually don't have a recipe for corn pudding. What kind of soup? Sweet corn soup. Sweet corn soup. Really, really simple sweet corn soup. All right. So for the soup, we need four cups of sweet corn kernels. You can use canned. One to, obviously, if you have fresh corn, that's amazing, but you can use canned, it's okay. One tablespoon of fat or oil. I like to use rendered bacon grease, or rendered bacon fat. Three cloves of garlic minced. Two thirds cup yellow sweet onion. We're actually gonna use red because I'm out of yellow. Um, and four cups of chicken stock. And um, yes, this is water. I have, I don't need to double fist, I got wine. This is really water. That would be a lot of whiskey if it was whiskey. Crystal, if you like the leggings, feel free. We've got a leggings group you can join. I just got 11 boxes of clothing. Not all leggings, one box of leggings. Uh, two boxes of leggings, and then the rest are other things. We've got skirts, leggings, different blouses, dresses, um, cardigans, kids' leggings, men's tops. So, a good combination of stuff. So, let's go ahead and cut our onion up. What did I say? We need two thirds of a cup. Never had corn soup. It is so good, and it's so easy to make. It's really, really delicious. 
Really, really, really delicious. Love the cast iron. Thanks. Me too. I'm definitely a fan. Okay. I'm just going to take a little bit. How are you guys? Is it, tell me, is it your first time? Have you been here before? What's the dealio? And if it's your first time, how did you find us? How did you find us? Pam says the video is skipping big time. Yeah, we're having some Facebook issues tonight, which is a super bummer. I apologize for that. Mm -hmm. Hold on one second. I just want to see if I can see if I can adjust something over here. Probably not, but we'll try. Okay. Let's see if that helps. So yeah, if you're new here, tell me how you found us. If you're not new here, tell me how many times have you watched us? Are you intrigued or addicted or just bored? <laughs> Going to have to leave, hard to follow with the freezing. Lynn, if you, um, if you hit the share button and share it to your wall, you can um, watch it back later and the replay won't skip. The replay will be clean, so. Um, I'm sorry about that. I know sometimes live is messy. It's a pretty new um, platform, so they're still working out the kinks. Aw, Justine says I'm her favorite. Thanks. Yeah, that topping is good for a lot of stuff. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to just be the sweet potatoes. Kelly loves the show. Thanks. Kelly says I don't know how I found you, but I'm hooked. You're so funny, Kelly. Those of you who don't know, Kelly's my assistant. <laughs> Naomi's addicted. Yay! You guys are awesome. And if, if you guys didn't know, I do have two um, electronic cookbooks. I had hoped to come out with a Thanksgiving one, but that didn't work out. <laughs> maybe next year. Or maybe we'll have a Christmas one. Um, but we do have two electronic cookbooks. One is soups and stew, so it's perfect for this time of year. Unless you're in Australia, in which case buy it for the next winter. Um, 25 soups and stews and that one's uh, $7.99 and then we have a 25 pumpkin and pumpkin spice recipes ebook that is $5.99 but if you buy them together as um, as part and parcel you can get a deal it's $9.99 for the both of them so Kelly will go ahead and put a link up to that Kim says I'm looking cute tonight thank you I appreciate that. All right. I would say that is about three quarters of a cup, possibly a little bit more, but that's okay. Paulette's first time watching. Welcome, Paulette. Thanks for being here. And guys, if you have a friend you think would, wa would, would enjoy watching along with you, I know I like to watch live shows with my friends sometimes. Um, if you're on, I don't know how to do it from the computer. You probably can, but if you're on um, a phone and you hit the share button, Facebook just made it so that one of, it'll say either, you know, share to your timeline, and there's also invite friends to watch with you, and if you click that, it'll show you your friends list, and you can click your friends who you want to watch with, and it just sends them a little um, Facebook notification. It doesn't, like, text them or anything crazy. It'll just show up if they happen to be online. It'll show up, so-and-so wants you to watch this with her or him, so it's kind of cool. I've been doing that a lot lately. 250 people have reacted to the video. Thanks, guys. I'm reacting to you with a big thumb and a heart. Okay. I'm letting my son throw kicks on the floor so I can watch in peace. Girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. So there's our onion. Let's get our garlic out. You said three cloves of garlic mint. So one, one, two, three. Those are big cloves. I bought a Santuco knife at Walmart, but it doesn't have the dimples. Huh, that's interesting. I thought all Santuco knives have the dimples. So we're gonna just cut that because it's huge. I'm sorry I'm a little late. That's okay. Don't ever apologize for being late. I'm glad you're here. 
What about desserts? Do you have a pumpkin roll recipe? I actually don't have a pumpkin roll recipe. I have lots of pumpkin recipes, but not a pumpkin roll recipe, if you can believe that. All right. I can feel this heating up. Cindy's here for the first time. Welcome, Cindy. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for joining us. I hope you're enjoying the show. Okay, you don't actually have to, I'm going to use the garlic press. You don't actually have to peel it, but it was so big that I wanted to cut it in half so it wouldn't get caught. I'm going to grab our uh, rendered bacon grease. You can use butter or olive oil or anything you prefer. I like to use bacon grease. I think it adds a nice flavor. And it's free since I already bought the bacon, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Will you send a text Saturday before the selling the leggings? Um, if you want a text for the leggings, it's a different, it's not the same, it's not the show text message. So if you go into the leggings group, there is a, um, I do have it up there. Kelly, can you remind me what the leggings text alert is? I believe it's, um, it's always to 40404, and I think it's, Mama loves LLR. I think that's what you thought. So you text follow Mama loves LLR to um, 40404. I believe that's right. Did I make up the recipe to I did. I did. This is my recipe. This one's mine. I'll always tell you if it's not my recipe. So like the, the sweet potato casserole was, it's an adaptation of my grandmother's recipe. So... What's that? This was um, bacon grease. You can use, if you don't have bacon grease or you don't like bacon grease, you can use um, butter or olive oil or any, any kind of oil that you prefer. Stop it with a thumbs up. Don't stop it. The thumbs up are amazing. We love the thumbs. Thanks to all the vets out there, including my son. Yes, thank you. I agree. We love our vets. Lots of vets in my family. Okay, so we're going to do, sorry, give me a second. Kelly, if you haven't shared in a while, can you go ahead and do that? Okay, what did I say? Four cups of sweet corn, corn kernels, one tablespoon of fatter oil, two-thirds cup of sweet yellow onion, cloves garlic. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put the onion in. And I've got it at about medium. We're going to let those sweat a little bit. Now, I used red onion, which I don't recommend for this recipe. The flavor is going to be fine, but it will muddy the recipe. So if you use the sweet yellow onion, you'll get a nice vibrant yellow color. This will be a little bit muddy. Flavor will be fine, but, um, you know, if you want to pr uh, preserve the integrity of the visually, go definitely use the sweet yellow onion, or even a white onion would work. All right, so we're going to let those sizzle for a minute. I'm going to walk behind the camera first real quick, and I'm going to grab the um, seasoned salt. I love this Aunt Cora Soulful Seasoning. It's a little hard to find, I'm not going to lie, um, but it is delicious. Where can I get your cookbooks? I'm always up to trying something new. Kelly, can you link us to the cookbooks, please? Um, what did I say? One teaspoon of seasoned salt. There we go. One teaspoon. And then we're going to mince the garlic in here. Anyway, so if you can't find this, Lowry's is really good. And then we're going to... If you don't have one of these, you definitely need one. This is a, a garlic mincer. I think tonight we all need to drink some wine in honor of our vets. I'm, a, I'm good with that. If you guys want to honor a vet in the comments, you're welcome to. I will. I do have wine tonight. I will read as many as I can if you'd like to put somebody's name in. I'm in charge of our fifth annual 
Penny Wars tomorrow. Very cool. Vince, if I want pregnant, is join you on that drink. Oh, if I wasn't pregnant, I'd join you? Yeah. Well, soon enough, it doesn't last forever. Kelly is not sharing anything, can you? Yeah, give me a second. She might be looking it up. Give her a second. that guys we booked for a minute all right it should be in the comments now we might have kelly's got three little kids so it's possible that she had to step away for a minute there she is see she's right there we're good no worries and also when she does the shares it freezes her screen for a minute so that's probably she was probably doing what i asked her to do so we've got in the pot right now, we've got sweet onion, garlic, fat or oil, whichever you prefer, and garlic. Did I say that already? Seasoned salt. Seasoned salt, onion, garlic, oil. It's okay, Michelle. No worries. I know you didn't need anything by it. All right. We're going to let that sizzle down just a little bit more, and then we're going to add our corn. And like I said, I'm gonna totally cheat and use canned corn. I've got my glass in honor of my father, Ozzy Probst, World War II and Korean War. Fantastic. Thank you, Ozzy. Cheers. All right. What are we making? We're making a sweet corn soup. It's a really simple sweet corn soup. Um, and in the... Uh, Honoring both my grandparents, Cindy, very nice, very nice. Um, so in the recipe, if you click through to the recipe, and please do click through to the recipes, guys, so you can check them out. Sorry, we keep cutting out. There's also a recipe in the sweet corn soup recipe, like a little sub recipe, for corn and tomato salsa, which is really yummy. We go roasted. Ah, it just poured out too much. <laughs> I opened it too hard. We lost a couple kernels, which is kind of punny when we uh, think we're talking about veterans. Honoring my father and my stepdad, Michelle, Naomi, my grandfather, Edward Brissett, World War II. He passed when I was 15. Basil in the window, yes. Daria, Darla is honoring my dad. Danny, Paul Sattler, Air Force, sorry. Uh, served 23 years and served in Vietnam. Vince is honoring his father, God rest his soul, Vietnam. Vicky is honoring her father and her daughter. And Jolene is honoring her Uncle Joe from Vietnam. Very nice, guys. That's really sweet. Honoring my son and his wife, both Marine vets. Wow. Thank you, guys. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> <clears throat> Darla is honoring her husband. All right, so I'm going to bring this up to temperature again and let it, let it get sizzly. And then we will add our chicken stock, bring it up to a simmer, and then we'll blend it so it's really smooth and creamy. <clears throat> you saying it out loud is, I know, I'm starting to get scary. I can't do, whew. Hmm. Thank you, guys. Honoring my grandpa and all my shipmates that I served with, Becky. Amy is honoring her husband. <laughs> it's just because I'm cutting onions. That's all it is. <clears throat> all right. Honoring Alicia's honoring two cousins and two friends right now: one Marine, one Air Force, and two military. Vietnam. And I apologize, guys. They're going really fast right now, so if I miss you, we're, our heart is still going out to your vet, so don't, uh, don't take anything from it. Penny's honoring her dad. And of course, I have to mention <clears throat> my dad, both my grandfathers, my uncles, um, Jane and Mike, who I worked with. 
Walt, who we, uh, from the Y, good friend of ours. I'm sure I'm missing a lot of people I know, but. Fair is honoring her stepdad, who's a veteran. Kaylee, James Winston Overton, Smokey the Bear, Vietnam, Vietnam, South Korea, who's her grandfather. All right. Can't, I like a huge lump in my throat. <clears> throat> hey, Sherry, don't, don't apologize for being late. There's no reason to apologize for being late. And Gabe sometimes watches. Gabe was my college roommate. He's a vet. He's an army vet. Several tours on Okay. I'm going to pump up the heat just a little bit because we're getting a cool breeze across. Grandfather and grandmother for Beth. Uncle Jerry was in the Air Force. My dad was Air Force. Beth, grandfather and grandmother. Billy, missing my dad. Allied forces in Canada, World War II. Thank you to all the vets. <clears throat> Mallory, my 19-year-old cousin who recently passed, and his 26-year-old brother, both Air Force. I'm so sorry about your um, cousin. Cheers, guys. Cheers. So, um, for those of you just tuning in, hi, I'm April from Mama Loves Food. We come on every Tuesday and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. We do family-friendly cooking, and uh, we do every kind of food. We do, <clears throat> excuse me, I apologize. Our connection is, Facebook is really messing with us tonight. We are not usually so glitchy. Um, anyway, we're on Tuesday and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern for cooking, and then on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern for crafting. We've been painting rocks lately, and I'm not going to lie, I'm hella addicted to painting rocks. It's really fun. I blog at mamalovesfood.com. I, uh, I am a 37-year-old mom of five. I like your compost pile. Thank you. I just got myself a roll of toilet paper. Right, Naomi? I don't want to break down. I'm actually wearing mascara tonight. Um, yeah, so we're here a lot. We do a lot of cooking. And this is more than just a cooking show. This is a conversation. This is you in my kitchen, getting, we're getting to know each other, and tonight we're talking, we are honoring our vets tonight, and it just sort of happened, and I'm loving it, so. Jennifer says, honoring my dad, Franklin Ruby, Franklin Ruby, Vietnam, God rest his soul, and my daughter, Jessie Hinton, who is now serving in the Army. Uh, the temperature for the casserole is 350, and I'm going to fix that as soon as I get off. I don't know how it got deleted. I think I did some um, edits to it last week when I was, um, right. I edited some stuff in it last week and I accidentally deleted the, um, temperature. Oops. How do I not get stuff on my shirt? Oh, I do sometimes. <laughs> 24 hour eyeliner. It is not 24 hour eyeliner. It will run if I cry. Um, yeah. So the trick for, if you guys get stuff on your shirt, what I do right after the show, if I get grease or grossness on my shirt, is I take it in the laundry room and I pour Dawn dish detergent on it and it almost always gets it out, but you gotta do it right away. Melissa says, my grandpa, my dad, and my uncle. Sandra says, honoring my brother who served 23 and a half years in the Air Force and is now retired. What casserole? Kareen, we have a sweet potato casserole in the oven. That's what we made first. The sweet potato casserole, it's actually a yam casserole, but basically the same thing. Sweet potato casserole is um, yams, eggs, vanilla, butter, and sugar in the bottom. And then the crumble on top is made with almonds, flour, butter, sugar. And it's delicious. And it's bacon right now. Jess says, ah, I just got here. Well, we're glad you're here, girl. We're glad you're here. I'm sorry, tonight's been glitchy. We had a really good audience. I mean, we've got a great audience on right now. That's I don't mean to insult you at all. Um, we had a very large audience on earlier, but I think some people gave up on us because Facebook was being mean. That's okay. I'm glad you guys are here, though. Cheers. Thanks for being here. Guys, can you tell me, um, am I sporting pigtails? I get double braids. Um, those of you who signed up for the text messages, and Kelly, can you remind people how to sign up for the text messages? If you guys like the show, 
Facebook has not been reliable about giving text message alerts, I'm sorry, giving notifications lately. So we have actually started a text message alert system that you can sign up for. All you do is um, send the following message, send the message, I'm sorry, send the message, follow live show MLF, that's one word, live show MLF. So follow live show MLF and text that to 40404 and you will get one brief text message as soon as we go live. And that's just for our reg that's just for our my shows. So, you know, I have I have several shows that go live on my channel um, every week. Um, but they all have their own text message alerts. So that's just to see me. Alright, you love the text messages. Good, good, good. Alright, let's peek this recipe. I mean, now we need the um I just want to make sure we have the right number of, yeah, four cups of chicken stock. So, normally I use my own chicken stock, but I am out right now, so. Long time of, long line of military, both my grandfather, several uncles, and a brother. So this is, we know, I know this is four cups, so we're just going to dump the whole thing in. Sherry loves the text alert, yay! Anthony says, honoring my great uncles, Obi, Joseph, Casillo, Henry, Tam Talmadge, World War II, my uncle James, Vietnam, cousins, Sean and Willie, Desert Storm, Brother Mario, Arlington Cemetery, Tomb Guard, Cousins, I'm so sorry, it cuts off, but uh, much love to your family, thank you. Okay, so I just put in four cups of chicken stock, like I said, you can use your own, chicken broth works fine too. Um, for those of you who are curious, the difference between stock and broth is stock is made with the bones, broth is made with the meat. Um, stock arguably is a little bit healthier because you get the cartilage and you get the marrow, the nutrients from that, but they're both very good for you and they're both delicious, so no big. And they both have very similar flavor pro flavor profiles. So yeah, 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 yeah. How are you guys tonight? Are we good? Give me a second. I just started watching your cooking sweet potato casserole and what else this is a uh, sweet corn soup I know two sweet things today but um, not intentional I did not know that about stock and broth yeah so so we only have like what two weeks left before Thanksgiving is that right so guys if there's is there anything in particular you want to see uh, I will say we're taking a break next Thursday um, we've got our show is going to be sponsored by the pork board so I'm really excited about that we're gonna do a rack of pork and a fig glaze and Brussels sprouts hella excited about that what's the text thing Dolly if you um, if you want to get a text message alert when we go live so that you don't miss the show you can text follow live show MLF to 40404 and you'll get um, one quick text right before we or right when we go live Natasha wants pumpkin rolls with cream cheese. I actually don't have a pumpkin roll recipe. Can you believe that? Farah, what about stuffing? We did stuffing last week. So if you go back in the archives, um, you can find that. We did do that last week. I would love a new cranberry recipe. I don't have a cranberry. Yeah, <laughs> this is embarrassing. I love canned cranberry sauce. I do. It's a thing. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm sure that some of our other contributors probably have a good cranberry sauce recipe, though. Have a happy birthday to your son. Thank you. Yeah, he's turning 10 this week. Next week. Next week. Soon, though. Soon. So I'm going to show you this. Um, remember how I said we added red onion instead of white onion? And you can see it's not... If I had used white onion or yellow, sweet yellow onion, it would be a much more, a much prettier color. It's going to be muddy, but it'll be good. Hi, Karen. It's been a long time. I'm glad you're here. My kids are in bed. Yeah, it's, it's, a. Uh, it's almost 10 here, so they've been in bed for a while. New vegetable recipe. I make a green bean casserole, but I need a new idea. I'll have to think on that. What about roasted carrots? I love roasted carrots. Mmm. Roasted carrots are good. And the Brussels we're gonna do with the pork um, next Thursday could be done as a side too. 
April, I want one of those Instant, pot, Instant Pots for Christmas. I'm counting on you for that gift. Don't hold your breath, man. I got a lot of people to buy for. <laughs> Any post-Thanksgiving pickies ideas? I'm not sure what that means. I'm sorry. Jenna's back. Hi. Hi, Jenna. I'm glad you're back. We just, we've got sweet potato casserole in the oven, and we've got sweet corn soup in the pot. We're bringing it um, post-Thanksgiving. So you mean like casserole? I have a post-Thanksgiving casserole that's delicious. Those of you, though, who do not like to mix your food will hate it. <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there. Just got home from school. Hi from New Zealand. Hi, Joanne. How are you? Vins is only one person. You are one of many. I appreciate you that you are one of many. Appetizers with leftovers. Mmm, that would be good. Got my Instant Pot today. I can't wait to use it. I almost pulled it out tonight to do the soup, but then I realized this one takes a lot of sautéing, so. It's almost back up to a boil. I'll give it a second. Yes, Brussels sprouts are the best. So my husband, by the way, we've been together almost 17 years. Is that right? almost 17 years and um the entire time I've known him he's hated Brussels sprouts they're disgusting they're gross uh he can't eat them so I make them occasionally for me and the kids will have a few bites but um he never ate them so about a month ago I made them with this pork recipe I was trying to work on and he finally tried them or he finally he he ate some me thinking he's been complaining that he doesn't like Brussels sprouts for 17 years assumes he's tasted Brussels sprouts before, right? Yeah, no. He texts me and says, oh, I guess I do like Brussels sprouts or something along those lines. He'll come in here and correct me probably. I don't remember it verbatim, but yeah. I was like, are you kidding me? You've been complaining that you don't like Brussels sprouts for 17 years and you've never tried them. Who does that? I'd be happy with some Santa Claus leggings. You and me both. Can you believe I only got 20 pair? I'm annoyed about that. I'd love to take Thanksgiving leftovers and make omelets with the meat in the next one. Yum! What kind of wine? This is Merlot. It's a smoking loon at Merlot. I need to stop. I need to stop stirring that because I'm slowing it down. What is an Instant Pot? An Instant Pot is an electric pressure cooker and we've used it a few times on the show. And it's awesome! It's so cool. It's really cool. There's a mat in here. Sounds like my husband. Really frustrating, right? Like, what is he teaching the kids? What's that about? What is my text for live? Um, text follow live show MLF to 40404. Christmas. Yay. Cheers. Did you guys see I have my Christmas tree up? You want to see it? I'll show you in a minute. Let's mix this soup. What do you say? Should we mix the soup? So right now, let me get a ladle. I'll show you what it looks like. Right now, it's obviously chunky. And you could totally eat it like this. But... I very strongly suggest, so see, it's chunky, it's bits of corn, right, and onion and stuff, and it's yummy, don't get me wrong, but I very, 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 very strongly suggest you blend this soup. If you don't have a stick blender, no big deal, no big deal. Kelly, I totally agree, 100%. Um, Kelly likes hers caramelized in the oven. That's so good, so good. That's how we do them, too. Um, but it spreads the sweetness and creaminess of the corn around if you blend it. So if you don't have a stick blender, just put it, just, just carefully, very carefully, um, put it in your upright blender. I love this thing. and pearls tonight. Haley loves my stick blender. I love my stick blender too. Everybody should have a stick blender. They're amazing. All right. Never, ever, ever, ever put your finger near the blade. I don't even mean when it's turned on. Ever. Just don't do it. It's a bad idea. It's a very bad idea. Leggings texting 
again. Yeah, Kelly, will you show them, tell them how to get the leggings? I might do a short legging sale tomorrow. Really short, and I might not even text people about it just because it'll be me trying to figure out how to do it <laughs> more than anything. I just sprayed myself in the face. That didn't feel good. Alicia, hi Alicia. Hi Brianna, how are you? When can we get ladies? I I got all the boxes right before the show today. So, um, I gotta go through them, I gotta figure out everything. It's gonna take a minute. Alright, so if you do this in a upright blender, it's like a bajillion times faster. But then you gotta transfer hot liquid, so I'm just gonna this did I get Thanksgiving or Christmas leggings? They haven't come yet. No, no, no. I ordered them yesterday or the day before, though. So um, they're only letting us order 20 pairs. So I got 10 tall and curvy and 10 one size. I haven't figured out how we're going to sell them to make it fair. I'm really hoping that they'll tell us there's more coming, but I don't know. Sarah used her stick blender to mix baby formula. I used to do the same thing. I actually had a, it wasn't really a stick blender. It was a baby formula blender that you would stick in the bottle. And so you wouldn't get the clumps. Yvonne, I'm in Florida. I'm in central Florida, just north of Orlando. About an hour north of Miami. All right, we're almost smooth. I can, we're, we're almost there. Hi, Margaret. Don't apologize for being late. No, 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 never, never. Almost there. Ooh. I think we're good. Oh, it looks beautiful. Okay. Should we put some in a bowl and check it out? We got eight more minutes on the clock for the casserole. I'm gonna go peek at it actually real quick. Oh, it looks gorgeous. It's bubbly and beautiful. Oh my goodness. Let's pour us some soup though while we wait. Should we do that? Pour us a little bit of soup. And like I said, in the recipe online, I do have also um, a corn and tomato, roasted, roasted corn and tomato, um, Salsa to put on top that's really, really good, but, 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 we didn't make that tonight because I already have the oven going for something else. Hi, Roxanne from Buffalo. Hey, everyone. Can I say hi to Luane, please? Did I say that, did I say that right? Luane, Luan? I'm glad you're here, guys. And if you're enjoying the show, I'd love if you hit the share button and do one or two things one you can invite your friends to watch with you now so you can scroll through your friends list if you hit the share button it'll say invite friends and you can invite your friends to watch with you um uh somebody's gonna link in the comments and also there's a link in the description for the leggings whoever's asking about that um also you can share to your page or to your to your um what do you call it to your wall and then everybody can see that you're watching and enjoying. It also tells Facebook how much you love me. It also allows you to reference the video later easily and you'll be able to see the description which has all the links in it. So I'm gonna come over and show you this. Now, it's only frothy because I, I blended it for so long so the froth will go away in a second but you can see that it's a little bit of a muddy color um, Flavor-wise, it's not going to make any difference. But if I had used sweet yellow or white onion, it would be a really bright yellow like it is in the picture. So, it's really, really hot right now. And if you like it super creamy, you can totally... I'm going to move this off the burner so it doesn't scorch. Um, you can totally stir in a cup of heavy cream if you want. I find just blending the um, corn is enough to make it creamy. No, there's no heavy cream in the recipe. If you want to add it, you can. You do not need to, though. I don't add it to mine. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, you need to see the tree. Show you the tree. Mm. Yum. Mm, that's gonna be my dinner tonight. Cheers, guys. Yum. Sheila loves the blue nails. Thanks. That was for my election night outfit. We had a show on election night, so I dressed up for... I dressed up all red, white, and blue. <laughs> all right, you guys want to see my tree? I'm going to scooch around. Ready? We're going to rotate. Ooh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. What kind of soup is a creamy sweet corn soup? Ooh, there's my living room. There's our little Charlie Brown tree. Isn't she cute? And there's our confused mantle. There's our pumpkins and our stockings and our tree. This is the sum total of my Halloween and October decorations. And this is the sum total of my Christmas decorations. But I do love them. I do, I do, I do. Sorry if I'm making anyone dizzy. Hopefully not. Let's see, did I get that right? Boop. Let's see if I'm actually in the frame now. Do it fit? <gasps> we got it right. Yay. Yay. My basil plants are doing great. <gasps> knock on wood, man. Knock on wood. <laughs> it's probably not going to last too long. I did remember to water them today, though, so that was good. All right. We've got just a couple seconds left on our... Thanks. I'm glad you like my necklace. I'm digging it. And you could throw some chicken in here if you wanted. Totally. Hi to Jolene's daughter, Ricky. Hi. Cheers from Virginia, Dawn. Soup is so good. You could totally add bacon. Bacon. Can you add bacon? You can add bacon to anything. Bacon is amazing. Yes, it is. Thanks, Kelly. Kelly's Kelly's starting the link in for y'all if you want to see it. Bacon is amazing. What do you say we pull that casserole out? Yes, I would, Crystal said, would you do chunks of chicken after blending? Yes, that's exactly what I would do. Mm, this is so good. Yummy. Hi, Lorna from Australia. What kind of cutting board? It's a Mario Batali cutting board, and I love it. Late, look at the leggings. I will show you the leggings, and then I'm going to yank that casserole out. What do you think? Polka dots and pearls tonight. Someone told me polka dots are going out of style and I laughed. Polka dots will never go out of style. All right, let's pull this casserole out. Let's see how we're doing over here. I'm gonna put our waffle down. So they probably don't need a cutting board, but just in case. This is a beaut. This is gorgeous. Holy moly, holy moly. Look at her. She's brown and bubbly and toasty. I'm going to bring her closer. Hold on. Hopefully I don't drop it. Can you guys see? Bubbling and brown and delicious. Can you see inside? Baked to perfection. Oh my goodness. And it smells amazing. Amazing. Oh. I know. Kristen says polka dots are a classic staple. I agree. I totally a thousand percent agree. They are you can't go wrong with polka dots. You just can't, because they're amazing. She's gone most of December. She wouldn't get to enjoy it. Yeah. We put the tree up early because we're out of town most of December. And I like to enjoy it. Alright, I hate to break it to you but I'm actually not going to cut into it because this is going to be served at my Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Where did I get the bucket for my compost pile? Um, old time pottery. Old time pottery. Are the leggings sheer? No, not at all. Not in the slightest. Not at all. I add thin sliced apples to my topping. Yum! That sounds good. So those of you who tuned in late, no big deal. I don't mean that as a dig. Um, I'm just going to tell you what's in. 
This is sweet potato casserole. The bottom layer is um, canned yams, egg, sugar, butter, and vanilla all beat together. And then you put it down at the bottom. We visit my parents in December. Um, and then the topping is flour, butter, brown sugar, almonds. Hi, Aunt Pam. My Aunt Pam is here. Everyone say, hi, Aunt Pam. Aunt Pam, we just made grandma's sweet potato casserole for Thanksgiving. What's my name? My name is April. I'm April from Mama Loves Food. Yeah, Old Time Pottery is amazing. Dangerous place, but amazing. Okay, so yeah, so it's uh, on the bottom it's sweet potatoes or yams, butter, brown, uh, butter, white sugar, egg, yams, butter, white sugar, egg, vanilla. And then the topping is flour, brown sugar, almonds, butter. And it's delicious. And then our soup, we made sweet corn soup, a really simple, quick sweet corn soup. Let me see it. It's a little muddy looking because um, because I used red onions instead of white or yellow onions. Do I bake before freezing? Do I bake before freezing instead of afterward? Yes, I bake mine before freezing. I have never tried to bake it and I've never tried to freeze it before baking it. I always bake it, I mean, and then freeze it, and then just warm it on the day of. Do I cook the casserole, then freeze? Yes. So I'm going to set this on my stove top. I'm going to let it come to a cooler temperature because I don't want to put it in my oven straight out of the, I don't want to put it in my freezer straight out of the oven. Um, I will cover it, and like I was saying, these casserole dishes are amazing. Where's the lid? Oh, I put it in there. Um, they come with lids. This is the OXO one. I have it linked in the top. They come with lids and they can go straight from the freezer to the oven. So Thanksgiving day, um, like 45 minutes before, uh, probably an hour and a half actually if it's solid frozen, but 90 minutes before we're ready to eat, I can throw it in the oven at um, like 375, 400 and heat it up and it will be amazing. It'll be delicious. So yeah. Anyway guys, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for taking a minute with me to honor our vets. And what is the soup? The soup is a sweet corn soup. It was corn, onion, garlic, chicken stock, and um, oil or bacon grease. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for taking, letting me take the time to honor our vets. And is the sweet potato casserole recipe on my website? Yes, the recipes are always on the website and they are always linked in the description. And I believe Kelly just threw some links in for you as well. So, you guys have a really good night. Have a great weekend. I hope you'll see, um, well, if you go over and join the leggings group, you'll see me over there later this week or maybe over the weekend. Um, and have a, just a really good, safe, happy weekend. Everybody get out, take a walk, take some deep breaths, and enjoy yourself.